Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Scorpios. Scorpio, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And just a friendly reminder, I am available for private readings. So I have those links down below if you're interested. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages, advice, and guidance come through for my lovely Scorpios for their highest and greatest good. All right, we have the Eight of Swords in reverse. Your person, the King of Wands. Okay, you could be dealing with a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, or Sag. They're viewing you as the Empress energy, so they're viewing you as divine feminine energy. Okay, as a divine counterpart, very, very attractive. Their true intentions towards you are the Knight of Swords in reverse, okay? And we have the Seven of Swords as your final outcome. So what I'm getting here, Scorpio, is I think you've got a secret admirer here. But I kind of feel like they're not quite ready to talk. I feel like they are, maybe they're a bit avoidant. Um, they could be hiding something other than their feelings for you. So we'll, we're going to have to dig into that. And we see the Star card in reverse. So I can see here, I think this person is a little bit unsure of the future of this connection. I kind of feel... This King of Wands is somebody who's used to getting a lot of attention themselves. But Scorpio, you're showing up as the Empress or they're seeing you this way. So they might feel like you're a little bit out of their league. So I feel like you have somebody here who's feeling a little bit intimidated. Now, it could be somebody that you've already dealt with. Okay, maybe you've been on a few dates with them. Maybe you were in a higher level of commitment with this person. But for a lot of you, I'm getting this Seven of Swords energy coming through. That this is somebody who's around you, maybe at work, at school, in your community, um, who's got secret feelings and they're just not sure they're going to have victory and success here with you. So I do feel like, okay, we've got this King of Wands coming out twice. This person may be a business owner. I do feel like they're, I feel like they're quite strong in stature. Probably, like I said, they're used to getting a lot of attention, but there's some, like, I feel like they realize they need to approach you differently. Like, you're not going to be just all about the looks. So they, I, I'm wondering if they're, they're a little bit worried about the intellectual connection here. Like, they see you as very smart. They see you as creative. Maybe you're a little bit more advanced in your career and spirituality or something like that. I just get that you've got somebody who normally has quite a healthy ego in their feels. And I can see they're holding back because of that, Scorpio. All right. So we see the Four of Pentacles energy in reverse. But this King of Wands isn't going to hold back forever because there is this great compatibility here between the two of you. A lot of you, I feel like, again, like you could work work with this person. You could see them out in the, like in a shop. I got Home Depot here off of this card, which I know is really weird and specific. Um, but for a lot of you, it's it's somebody out and about in your community. Maybe you go into their work. Maybe they come into yours. Again, a lot of you, this person could be a neighbor, somebody you see at your favorite bar, club, and restaurant. But there's something just very, very... They're, they're very, very drawn to you. And there's something very, very special and very different about you, Scorpio, that has this, like I said, this person who normally has quite a, a strong ego, a healthy ego, feeling a little bit intimidated. And I can see that because Scorpio energy certainly can be intimidating. All right. Yeah. See there, see this person, it's almost like they don't know how to categorize you, Scorpio. It's almost like they've never met anybody like you before. And this person is really worried that they don't have a chance with this judgment card in reverse, or maybe they're worried that they've blown it somehow. I, I kind of feel like they, they, I kind of feel like they might feel a little bit dumb around you and not to say that you've made them feel that way by any way, shape in it by any means, but it, it feels like more than anything, like they just like, you're very attractive, but I think like you're more, um, like exotically attractive. I feel like the things that you talk about, the way that you carry yourself, you're very mysterious. Um, this person, it's like, they just don't know how to, they don't know how to categorize you. They don't know how to really approach you. And yeah, and they're avoidant because of that, because they're, they're not sure how to, you know, they're not sure how to judge the situation. They're maybe not even sure how to get close to you. Um, sorry, I don't know if you hear the dogs around me. They're, <laughs> they're like, they're playing and snarling. 
All right, so they're seeing you as the Empress. So they're seeing you as absolutely the best of the best here, Scorpio. And the Five of Swords. Hmm. They, they also know that, you know, that maybe you, there's competition for your affection or for your attention. It's like this person's not sure that they're your type. Um, and again, I feel like there's something about your intellectual connection or something that you said to them that kind of was mind blowing or they didn't have an answer or they couldn't talk about that topic or something like that. So I do feel like they're, I, I just feel like they feel a little bit dumb around you and that may not be the case. It just could be an insecurity here, Scorpio. Yeah. And we see the five of cups. See, you're, you're coming out as double fives for this person, Scorpio. Fives are about conflict. They're about change. Um, you know, you might have like, you might realize that you have different political views, different religious views, different views on the world. I feel like you said something to them that was like, again, they didn't know how to respond to, or they didn't even know anything about the topic that you were talking about, which isn't necessarily a problem, except for it's creating an insecurity here with this person. Now, this person may also know that like you've been healing from something. Um, it could be too that you've recently moved to this person's neighborhood or recently moved to their city, state or country. Okay, because I do feel like there's something like kind of exotic about you or something different about you. All right, the Knight of Swords in reverse. This person's not quite ready to talk. They definitely have a blocked throat chakra around you. They're not ready to make a move with the Four of Swords energy. Okay. And we have the King of Swords. Yeah, this person, okay, I do see that this person, I'm not getting that this person's like a liar or they're a cheat or anything like that so far. I mean, we do have to explore what the Seven of Swords energy is, but I'm seeing here that this person, the King of Swords, I feel like they, they I just keep getting this message. They don't want to come across as dumb. <laughs> so some of you, they're like doing some research. Um, maybe they're trying to figure out more about you. Again, for some of you, they're looking up something that you were talking about, um, you know, whether it was political, whether it was spiritual, religious, economics, like whatever it is that you talk to them about, like they, they felt like a fish out of water. Um, but I do think that they are going to communicate but it's it's about when, right? It feels like they're just not they're just not quite ready because they're not sure they're going to have victory here. So the Seven of Swords is you're definitely dealing with somebody who's avoidant right now. The uh, Knight of Pentacles also with the Seven of Swords, it's like keep yourself mysterious, Scorpio. You know the right person is going to take a step forward, is going to try to figure you out, is going to learn to get to know you. And, and I do actually think this person will do that. They're just trying to figure out how. So the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady, wins the race. Keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, and, you know, there's tension here. I feel like there's definitely strong physical, sexual tension between the two of you. Um, you two might be mirroring each other in certain ways because, again, this person isn't sure they're going to have victory, so they're not quite ready to reach out or talk to you at this time or tell you how they're feeling. Um, but, but again, I think that's okay. I kind of get this energy of like you're, uh, you know, what I just heard you're winning, Scorpio. Not that this is a win-lose situation, um, but I do think that you're driving this person nuts. You're really, like, I don't know what you've said to this person or what you did to them, but you absolutely have them in their head here, Scorpio. You have them in their feels. They're in this Eight of Swords energy. Because I feel things normally come pretty easy to this person, especially attention and that sort of thing. And now it's like they really want you, but they they have to do things differently or they have to approach things differently. I just don't think they're used to that. All right. So let's see what, let's see what else we need to know about them. Okay. So yeah, you two are very different. Opposites energy. This person is loyal. I see that here with the King of Swords. Like this is somebody who's not, you know, because with the Seven of Swords and the, and the Knight of Swords in reverse, you know, we can get like a liar, a cheat, somebody who's very deceptive. Um, but I, I don't get that from this person. They're just emotionally guarded because they're not sure they're going to have victory with you. And they may need to boss up here. I think they know that. I mean, I do think they're normally quite effective. They're normally quite strong. I think this person's a leader. I think they have a lot to offer, but I don't know what you've done to them, Scorpio. Let's see what they want to, what do they want you to know? What would they like to say to you? Um, I'm coming to terms with the shame that has cast a shadow over me for so long. Um, you know, obviously some of you may have a history with this person, but I'm I'm reading for the vast majority of you that's not the case. I'm wondering if this person, there's something here, um, uh, something here about them like not feeling, I feel like it's not, not feeling smart enough. 
okay, like this person may be like an athlete or maybe they were an athlete. Um, and not to say that athletes aren't smart, that's not where, not where I'm going here with this, but I feel like they're good looking and they're quite you know, physically attractive. And I feel like maybe in the past people have told them that they weren't that smart. And I, I don't think that's the case. Okay, I'm just getting that, but there's something here that like that they felt like they couldn't go toe to toe with you here, Scorpio, and and they feel a little bit of shame, um, and I think you'd be very surprised to know that about this person because I do think they come off quite confident. Um, I'm becoming self-aware, and I've learned that what I've experienced again and again must come to an end. What I'm getting here more than anything, Scorpio, is this person is like the reason you're on this person's path right now and the reason they're so like wildly attracted to you but also really in their head about you is because they're ready for a different type of partner they're ready for a different type of person again this person maybe they used to date or they normally date people who are you know quite shallow or you know just not like you at all right so um, and we get healing. So your words, your demeanor, and the way you've extended forgiveness and grace has helped me more than you know. So again, what you say to this person and the way that you've extended them grace has got them in their fields, has them hook, line, and sinker. We do see reconciliation here at the bottom of the deck. So I, I don't think this is much of, this doesn't feel like an X to me at all, Scorpio, but what it does feel like is this person can't wait to see you. They can't wait to see you next. I, I feel like they have something prepared to say. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Let's see. That's kind of funny to me, like about something that I don't think they've ever researched or talked about much before. Um, they want to impress you in short. They really want to impress you. Let's see what messages spirit has for us here. So spirit saying this could be a true love situation, Scorpio. Uh, it's a it, the, this love is emotional, physical and unconditional. But you and this person don't share the same vision. I do feel like you two are very different in a lot of ways. And that's something that, you know, if you want to explore this connection, you have to really sit with, take your time getting to know each other because we do see opposites and different pages. You might have very wildly different outlooks, Scorpio, but um, it doesn't mean it can't work, but you do have to choose what's best for you. And there is some sort of intense connection here with that past life's uh, past life love. So some of you, there is a past life soul connection. Despite being very different, there could be something, you know, and that feels very familiar about them at the same time. Scorpio, you're going to have to let me know down below in the comment section how this resonates with you. Oh, I need to know. I need to know. Final messages for my Scorpios, please. True love coming out twice. So Despite these differences, we've got double true love here, Scorpio. This is the romance of a lifetime. All right. And we have soulmate. But yeah, I was going to say, damn, drop the mic. Yes, this is your soulmate. And, you know, it's okay that you retreat, Scorpio. Again, I feel like this person, part of their lesson here is to is to make that first move and, and kind of get past their ego and those fears of possibly not being good enough, not being smart enough or whatever it is that they're feeling, um, doing something different. And, and I feel like there's just so much potential here in this connection. Again, I'm not sure what you've said or done to this person, Scorpio, but they are ridiculously into you. All right, so I'm gonna leave it here, Scorpios. I'm sending you so much love and light. If these messages resonate, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.